Good day and welcome to the semifinals of the National Invitation Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler and joining me today, as always, Dick Vitale. This should be a great matchup between the Buffalo Bulls and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Number one is a star whose team hopes he can take them to victory tonight. He's the complete package. He seems to have a knack for coming up with the big plays when his team needs them, be it a bucket or a stop. He delivers. The Cowboys will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Cowboys should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second of all, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Third, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. And you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dumps it in. What a response. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Fake. Trying to go inside. Steals a pass. That's picked off. Hey, kid's got great defensive court sense. And they get the turnover. Here they go into transition for the bucket. Number two was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Now they'll bring it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Keeps the dribble as they regroup on the outside. Trying to feed inside for two and off the mark. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The point guard takes the pass. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They look to get it to the inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He fakes the shot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They work the perimeter. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. He may be in trouble here. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. perimeter number one is pounded on his way up at the free throw line he got it whoa screener caught one of the chops off the pick 
think right now they're going to focus defensively. He looks at the hoop. These fans seem to be thrilled with what's going on right now in front of them. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Number double zero is eager and excited to compete. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. And the ball goes out of play. Side. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. He gets the rejection. Comes up short. Moving it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble act here and turns it over. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside. Looking for contact. Number 25 makes the finger roll. Anticipation defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Up and in. Time to pick up the defense here now. I'd say they all want to take it to the rack. I wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Guru. There they come with a double team to stop it. Number one with the theft. Leans in. Got it. The small forward gets the pass. Double team now, bad angle. He takes the shot off the baseline, way off target. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. That's a 10 0 run. to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. The shooting guard with the ball. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
He unloads. Buffalo are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Working it around the perimeter. Number 13 gets the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He makes the block. They just can't seem to get a nice look at the goal tonight. They have to be patient on offense and find some easy hoops. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. He steps up to the line. Misses it. Strong rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the pass break. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The small forward takes the feed. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Way off target. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from the top of the key. The Cowboys have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. the offensive drop step and a low block but better defense. I tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He shoots from the elbow. Great job of freeing himself with the screen but shot won't go. The frustration right there. He tries the three ball. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Fakes it. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Turns it over. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Gave it up. He shoots from long range. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Picked out of the air. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. With the fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to rely on the ball. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, did. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. He shoots from left to the circle. The friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. The double team. The ball goes out of play. 
Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. Ten seconds to put it up. With a deep shot from outside. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Now looking to move it down court in a hurry. Buffalo have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Puts it up, looking for contact. Number one with a finger roll. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Knocks it down. Roll it back again, fellas. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Good job defensively. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumps in. In and out. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Dump it inside. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the three ball. Way off target. That'll take some pride on the defensive end. Number one fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. And again, they look to run. Up and inside. There he is. Strips the ball loose. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. 
Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Moving it around the perimeter. He's got a high post flasher. Here's the three ball. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. it around the arc he shoots from the top of the circle he misses from the outside offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression man in high post intercepted on the dribble gives it up for the bucket gets it to fall isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper number one with the foul third team foul I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Second shot is good. Picked off. Here's a flash from the post up high. Number 25 is called for the foul. Third team foul. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Free throws go. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. The fake. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up. Double team now. Bad angle. Number one comes up with it. Number double zero is whistled for the defensive foul. Fourth team foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits that one. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For two, they still don't score. Nice fake. 
There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Shot clock is dead. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. It goes up for two. And he missed. From way downtown. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Cowboys are down by 12. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Number one has played a pretty consistent game so far, but the score is still way in favor of the opposition. Hey, there are four of the players on the floor, Brad. We can't fault this young man for this blowout. In the second half, more players need to contribute. On a day like today, when your star isn't dominating, the other players need to carry some of the load. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, do you think? I think they had to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I still think his teammates have to screen for him. With a long bomb. Step out on that screener. Can't get the shot to drop. Gets the ball and out faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Dump it inside. And he'll kick it back outside. The crowd really admires this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He's got to move the ball. He lets it go. He gets the bucket. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Working it around the perimeter. Good fake. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Looking for a good shot. He looks for three. He gets that one to fall. The Cowboys are down by 16. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect that they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Turnaround jumper. In and out. Shoots from downtown. There was no doubt about that one. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Let's take a look at that last basket. like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes away the pass. Length of the floor. The Cowboys have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle, and he can't hit the shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. It's around fadeaway. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Oklahoma State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Now they work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Got to make that baby end a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on a glass for an easy deuce. They work the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Is the bomb way off target. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Goes up for two. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. Number one with the steal. The other way. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He rejects it. Oklahoma State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for contact. The Bulls are ahead by eight. Look at that 
spacing. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gave it up. Almost lost the basketball. The Bulls have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries a three. It sticks. With the jump hook. And in and out. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. On the inside. Stolen ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Picked off. Outside jumper, way off target. from long range. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. He wants a three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Great recovery after the rebound. That's how you stop the fast break. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. You betcha. That's a 7 nothing run. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. That's a 9-0 run. Defensive transition's been very good. He's whistled for his last foul. Hey, you gotta use your head, baby. He dials long distance. That was nice. Show the replay on that. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Sets the screen for his teammate. Buffalo are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. 
from the baseline. The Cowboys have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's a high screen. Off the rim and no good. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. They'll work it around the arc. Got a guy right on him. From left of the circle. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Easy one. He intercepts it. It appears as though it'll be an easy two here. The Bulls lead by nine. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Goes up for two. They work it around the perimeter. Unloads a three. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there. Let him think about it for a while. He shoots from the top of the circle. Rims out. the perimeter the shot from the baseline off the rim and no good he shoots from the baseline rims out intercepted This should be an easy bucket. Buffalo have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Now the high screen. On the inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. He shoots from outside. He's money with the shot. Dick, you were a math teacher. Mathematically, I think this one's over. It sure is, Brad. They have no chance of getting back into this one. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. an open guy in the post and went the other way. Tries for two. In and out. On the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed.
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He grabs the board. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. That spin move's not going to work against a defense well, like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. In the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. from left of the circle. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks couldn't cure. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Picked out of the air. From the top of the circle. He misses badly on that three-point attempt. And the ball goes out of play. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the play. Wow, what a play. Moving it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. He's got some room. Robs him of the ball. Shot clock is dead. He unloads a three. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes away the pass. Attempts the Hail Mary. They're having a rough time getting them to drop, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. Oklahoma State loses in a well-fought match. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.